Welcome fellas, let me introduce you the latest addition to the Parkside Performance family, this 25 joules corded hammer drill. Some of the features of the machine, the rated power consumption is 1600 watts, the bits per minute are ranging from 1150 up to 2300 and the no load rotation speed is ranging from 175 up to 360 rpms this is how the beast looks like it's simply humongous the weight of the machine is nearly 11 kilos for me it's super heavy but for the protocol all machines in its class are about the same weight like i already said the stroke energy is 25 joules and the machine is designed for drill bits with an sds max fitting this is an sds max fitting and this is an SDS Plus, so in order to use the machine, either you need an SDS Max drill bits or an adapter from SDS Max to SDS Plus. The machine has three operating modes, hammer drilling, chiseling and adjusting the chisel position. You can easily switch between them using the selector here. Something to mention, this over here is not aluminium, which is really disappointing for me. It's some sort of a painted plastic. The additional front handle is sharing the same design as on many other Parkside power tools. The main handle is equipped with a vibration dampening mechanism. So far so good, continuing with some of the fancy features. The power cord is using a bayonet connector, which on some lighter machine would probably be a good idea, but on this 11 kilos monster is more like a premise for easier breakage. We all know how fragile Parkside plastics are. Eleven kilograms versus this fragile connector, I think this would be the first thing to break on this machine. You will need a spare cable and it will be a really difficult task to source one. Another interesting feature, the speed selection buttons. Again, membrane buttons. Again, too small, too small even for my fingers. And not to mention that most of the times you would be using this machine with gloves. And the funny part is that those buttons are not functioning until you press the trigger. Imagine how interesting it would be to change the speed while holding the tool with one hand and with the other you're trying to press one of these tiny buttons and imagine doing that in a sunny day when you're unable to see the LED indicators. on Parkside, this is too idiotic even for you guys. Other interesting feature is the soft start, which in some situations could be really annoying and unfortunately there's no way to turn it off. And because there were some comments that the new machine looks small, let me compare it for you with the 3 joules cordless version. You can see the difference in size. It's not small at all. Something related to the machine indirectly. For such heavy machines, Parkside needs to design a different type of briefcase simply because the current cannot withstand the weight of the machine. Before continuing with the full disassembly, I should mention that Parkside designed its machine in a way that the user can super easily change the brushes. I have to admit I had some doubts what would be inside, but after removing the plastic shrouds and seeing all this aluminium, things became really badass. And for now, I'm not planning to disassemble the pneumatic part, simply because I'm not sure I'll be able to reassemble it again. As it goes for the vibration dampering mechanism, well, that's those two bolts and those two springs over here. 
nothing fancy but I'm really curious for how long the plastic part over here will withstand the massive vibration well we'll wait and see after removing the plastic cap you can see the piston rod nothing fancy in here of course you can add some additional grease on the front of the machine I really like the massive semi ring I see on the shaft according to Parkside the machine is equipped with an overload clutch and in case of a drill blockage it will disengage the gearbox so no damage, no twisting force will appear. On the motor side there is this sensor which I'm not sure if it's a hole sensor or some other sensor but there's this magnetic collet over here on the collector so probably yes this is some sort of a hole sensor but with only two wires. For those of you not aware this over here is granite one of the hardest natural materials on earth this block is 15 centimeters thick. Let's see how the machine performs against it. I will start with the drill bit provided with the machine. 18 millimeters in diameter. The machine is set on level 6, the highest possible. Let's change the drill bit to something even bigger, 25 millimeters in diameter, Makita. I know perfectly well that the two machines are from totally different leagues but I'm really curious how much better are 25 joules against 3 joules. That's why I will perform absolutely the same test with absolutely the same Makita drill bit 25 millimeters in diameter with an SDS plus shank. The machine is set on level 6 highest possible in hammer drilling mode the battery is fully charged. Well guys, I think you can see the difference after I don't know how much time, only about 2 centimeters. Well, let's finish the hole with its bigger brother.
finally it's time for some chiseling with this really modest sidewalk pave To be honest guys, I am with mixed up feelings about this machine. Yes, it's powerful, yes, it's performing the job it's intended for, but the additional features Parkside implemented, like the cable connector and the membrane buttons, are only ruining the proven design, not making it better. Additionally, from the information I have, this power won't come cheap, yes, it will be half the price of Bosch, but even that is too much for Parkside, not to mention for a machine that has yet to prove itself. Yes, the machine comes with 5 years of warranty, but we all know that Parkside is not servicing those machines, only replacing them. Except for the rubberized handle, I'm missing rubberized bumpers on the body. This is a construction machine and without them, the plastics will deteriorate quite quickly. Well, I think I've managed to cover everything about the machine. I'm not sure when it will be available in stores, but I hope it will be soon enough. That's it guys, if you liked the video, thumbs up and subscribe, bye and see you soon.